My question is for the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. For the past 15 years, health care services in Ontario have deteriorated under, under the previous government's administration. Statistics for May 2018 say that 9 out of 10 patients in Ontario spend on average 10.3 hours in emergency rooms, with some hospitals having ER wait times of over 20 hours. How short-sighted was the former Liberal government when they failed to plan for a long-term care strategy and have not created a single long-term care bed in 15 years? This oversight has resulted in immense backlogs in our acute care hospitals. Speaker, we have all heard of alternative level of care patients. These patients should be in long-term care beds, but are instead occupying acute care beds simply because there is nowhere else for them to go. Question. Speaker, can the minister tell us how our government for the people is going to fix the mess created by 15 years of neglect in Ontario's hospitals? Speaker, and thank you to the member from Mississauga Centre for your question. The member is quite right that we are facing a health care crisis in this province, in large part driven by a long-term care crisis due to the long-term inaction of the previous government. We know that many hospitals across Ontario are consistently operating at over 100 per cent capacity, and that is simply unacceptable for both patients and our frontline health care workers who are trying to work with them. We also know that one of the ways to address hospital overcrowding is to enhance supports for patients outside the hospital. That's why our government has committed to adding 15,000 long-term care beds over five years and 30,000 long-term care beds over 10 years. Addressing the high alternate level of care rates through a focused long-term care strategy, reducing unnecessary emergency room Spons. visits by providing better community supports, and finally introducing a comprehensive and connected mental health care system are just some of the ways our government is committed to fixing this mess and getting patients to care. Thank you. Supplementary. By the Speaker, back to the minister. The lack of long-term care strategy by the Liberals was not only fiscally irresponsible, but also created a domino effect of backlog, preventing many Ontarians from getting the proper medical attention they deserve. As an emergency room nurse myself, I spend many shifts in the back hall, taking care of five or six bedridden patients at a time. It was not only difficult to perform my nursing duties in this setting, but frankly demoralizing. Patients wait for hours or days in designated hallway beds to get proper treatment without dignity or privacy. Speaker, our healthcare professionals, nurses, doctors, and other hospital staff work in this environment, trying to help patients in hallways, which is impacting their own mental health and burnout rates. A hallway is not a place of work, and it question. definitely is not a place of healing. My question is simple. What will the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care do to put an end to hallway nursing in Ontario. The member is right. I'm sure we could agree on all sides of this house that treating our loved ones in hallways and storage closets is not acceptable. And that's why our government has been clear. Ending hallway medicine is one of our key priorities, and we will deliver. Again, to start, our government has committed to building 15,000 long-term care beds over five years and 30,000 beds over 10 years, which will help alleviate some of the pressures. We've also committed to finally and fully developing a mental health and addiction strategy to give patients the ability to access supports outside the emergency room and before they are in crisis. And we will work with our frontline health care workers to improve access to primary care. Together, we will listen to patients and caregivers and to frontline workers, to doctors and nurses, to create a health care system Bonds. based on a comprehensive, long strategy for health care.